Okay, recently just joined Behance. Behance. So they've got their own project editor on this. So how do you upload and use this? So, okay. So I press on create a project and first of all, upload files. So I'm now going to upload files. Okay. Here's one. You're uploading the images into one sort of category. So you're grouping them. So this would be my first of a set. Yeah. Ah, dear. I have to pause here. Okay, just regaining internet connection to upload a file. So, first of all, upload the files I want. And my first one. On start building your project. Okay, save. And I got three. So I upload, I go back to upload files. Oh, it's taking its time again. Um, another one, similar image. Save. And then upload another one. Okay, so we've all done all that. So that's our upload of pictures, then continue. A cover, a cover picture for the project, for the um, however many you've got there. So now there will be a minimum size of 808 by 632. So I've still got GIMP open. So I'm going to use this to get the dimensions I want. Image, scale, break that, make it 08. 632, close that link, scale. Okay, file, overwrite. Overwrite the same image. And export. You're exporting out of GIMP to your, your pictures in documents on your PC. Okay, so that's done. So upload image, I go and fetch that image now. And take this time again. Okay. Project title. Zeef. 
tourist. Tourist app. And then down here is a done button. Which takes me to project settings. We've got to get a few fields required in here. A few okay, so add required. It was to do a web design, UX, graphic design. You pick the things you want, the categories done, um, tools used. I used to make that GIMP for photo editing, um, expression web as an editor. HTML5 and so on and so on, the tools you might have used. Okay. I don't know if that came into it. Anyway, save. Continue. I should have just pressed publish there. Ah, it's a mistake I made last time. And just go to publish. Do that instantly. Publishing your project. And all done. So it's all done. So if you go back to your your profile, you should see how it would appear. Oh, and then you can you can link it to one of your sites. I could tweet it or so forth. Not really that bothered. I was working on a section of tourist apps. They're long gone, actually. They're quite nice, but um, they're long gone. So you'd you'd click on one of those cover pictures, and you'd get a selection of your work. So that's how you use the project editor on Behance.